Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So our Medusa is all ranked up, and we are going to take a closer look at her abilities and her attributes. Uh, we only took her to rank 4, but she is definitely worthy of a rank 5. So here are her attributes here. And we'll switch over to percentages so you can take a look there for the purposes of comparing her to other champions. See her tags. And let's take a look at her synergy bonuses, her synergy bonuses. Can't speak right now. I'm kind of tired. Uh, this bonus right here, very nice. She can generate up to six Furies. Normally, she gets three. So that is huge because that increases her damage considerably. All right. And here we go. We have Karnak. Now, this is also quite useful. You fire off a heavy and you have a permanent armor break. Sometimes you go up against champions where it's difficult to get all of the armor breaks you need to do the armor shatter. More on that later. Uh, but this makes it easier uh, to do that. All right. And then you have a few others here. But for me, the big boy synergies are these first two here. The Inhuman Royal Family Synergies. All right, so now let's go ahead and use this Awakening Gem on her. Boom. Now she is awakened. So let's take a look at her abilities. So this signature ability, and in my opinion, she really needs this signature ability. You can use her without it, but it adds so much to her that I would not consider taking her past rank 4. In fact, I wasn't going to take her to rank 4 uh, without this ability being awakened. Uh, but I had the gem. I also had a rank up gem, so it was perfect. All right, so she gains a fury buff every 3 seconds, uh, up to 3, as I mentioned earlier. They each increase her attack by 323, uh, and they expire after reaching the maximum amount. But here's something that's also nice. When she's struck twice, uh, she has a chance, and it'll go up the higher her signature level is, uh, to auto-block with her hair and purify any stun debuffs for the cost of those three Furies. All right, so now you can see that that uh, synergy, where she has six of them, this is only going to cost three Furies. So if she has six she still has a chance to trigger this twice. Very, very nice. And it can trigger a parry if you have that mastery uh, trained, all right? So now, her medium attacks, each of her medium attacks puts an armor break on the opponent. That can be very useful against Killmonger because that armor break wrecks his uh, reverberation. Uh, it can be useful against Ghost uh, that armor break prevents her from being able to phase. So very useful in a variety of situations. And as I mentioned before, armor shatter, uh, this is what the armor shatter is. When they have six active armor breaks, then it will turn into an armor shatter debuff, which reduces their armor rating further. But here is something nice about it. As you read a little bit further here, uh, they can't activate any of their armor buffs if they have them. And I believe it's active, not passive. So it doesn't work for uh, Iron Man Infinity War, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, but additionally, if you're going up against a robot champion, it shuts them down completely. Okay? They can't gain power. If you're going up against Sentinel, he can't gain his analysis charges. Uh, Ultron, he can't evade. So it shuts them down. That ability accuracy, uh, it shuts them down 100%. That's something that a lot of people may have missed when reading this. It reduces their ability accuracy and power gain. So no power gain, no auto evading, no uh, analysis charges, none of those things. Okay? Now, uh, critical light attacks, if she gets a crit, uh, it inflicts a bleed. Uh, and all heavy attacks, same thing, all right? Very, very nice. And here are her specials. So that special one, 
is a four hit combo, each one breaking the armor. Now remember that you need six in order to put up an armor shatter. So if you have that Karnak synergy, all you have to do is hit a heavy, hit another heavy, and then fire off a special one, and you've got armor shatter. What you have to do without the synergy is you have to um, build up your armor breaks, you know, do like a medium, medium, and then fire off that special one. All right, so you can still do it, just have to do it a little bit differently if you don't have the synergy. All right, special two is a 10 hit combo. I often get caught by this thing, but she has a 10 hit combo. Each hit has a 60% chance to inflict a bleed if armor shatter is active. So if you fire off that special one when she already has two armor breaks on the opponent, so you get that armor shatter, then build up to a special two, it's going to do a lot of damage. And it will stun the opponent if you have the armor shatter up. Now you can fire off a special two. It's still going to do a lot of damage. It's just more if you have armor shatter. And the special three inflicts an armor shatter uh, for 35 seconds. That is huge. So when you're going up against, say, the Ultron in Act 5, the final boss, uh, if you look on my channel, you'll see that uh, I use my four-star Medusa against that one. Uh, and you'll see how you would need to fight with this Medusa. But you can just cycle those special three attacks, keep the armor shatter on them. And if you're aggressive enough, you can have two armor shatters. And so you will be doing even more damage. They will overlap. Awesome, all right? And of course, she is immune to poison. So as I like to uh, run suicides, this is gonna help out a lot because she's not gonna be taking any poison damage. She'll take a little bit of the bleed from my double edge and that's it. So I am looking forward to fighting with Medusa. All right, so now we're going to take her uh, around town and see her in her glory. So I wanted to showcase one of Medusa's greatest strengths. And I decided to bring her in here in Act 5.4, the final boss. All right, that M part right there makes this boss very, very difficult. However, Medusa can shut him down so that you don't have to worry about any of it. So first thing you're going to notice is that her health is less than half. Uh, for the purposes of this video, what I did was I would go in and I would parry. You usually do not want to parry him because when you parry him, he will get a random effect as you saw there. And if that random effect is power, that's pretty much it for you. And that's what happened a couple of times. And I just force quit. And then I went in here. This was the attempt that I decided to keep because he got a regen. And as you can see there, I got the armor shatter on him. Okay, so you already know how her armor shatter uh, is applied and right now he's done as long as that armor shatter is up on him he cannot do any of that all of that no the impart um his evade power gain nothing works he is completely shut down this is what makes medusa such a strong counter to the robots in the contest and you can see there uh, I fired off a special three because that applies a very long armor shatter. And so that's how this fight went. Just that easy. All right, so for this last fight, I took Medusa into Act 6.1.6, .6, the final boss, and that Sentinel is a pain. Now, the reason that this fight is so difficult for Medusa is the buffs. So that Plague Mine, every 20 seconds, you're going to be drained of power. So you have 20 seconds to build up to a special 3 or any special. You've got Fisticuffs, so for the first 30 seconds, you're not going to have any buffs, and you won't be able to apply any debuffs. Well, remember that in order to shut down this Sentinel, Medusa has to 
apply armor breaks and get that armor shatter. Can't do that during the first 30 seconds of the fight. So for the first 30 seconds of this fight, you're gonna see me playing keep away. Just doing delaying tactics, I'm hitting into his block so that I can create some distance because I do not want to get trapped in that corner. All right, but if I can get some licks in like that, I will. Uh, I could play this so much better, but my goal was to get that armor shatter and show you guys what it can do, how powerful it is against robots, all right? So here we go, fisticuffs is gone, all right? Now we've got this plague mine. So we don't want to do much of anything until that plague mine timer wears down. All right, so here we go. All right, now I just need to build up to a special one as quickly as possible and then do a medium, medium, fire off my special one and get armor shatter on him. All right, so after this special, we go in, medium, medium, fire the special one, armor shattered. Now he is shut down. So he will not get any more of those analysis charges and he will not gain any more power while this armor shatter is applied to him. So what I want to do now is build up to a special three and get that extended armor shatter. All right. Now, one thing that I did not realize, look at the plague mine. All right. You see, it's about to go down now, but I still have power and I was able to get my special three. So I'm frantically trying to build up to a special three, but as long as he's armor shattered and he was armor shattered, it shut down the plague mines. That was something I did not realize until recently. Okay, so now what I would need to do because of the global node, I can't fire off another special three. All right, so I would just need to go ham on him you know, uh, fire off a special one or a special two. I chose to do a special two, but because I'm running suicides, that's hurting me bad because of the recoil damage. All right, but as you can see, Medusa is quite effective against this Sentinel. All right, so at this point, what I would end up doing is the same thing that I did in the beginning. Wait for Plague Mines to drain, okay? Then, I would uh, build up to a special one and then do a medium, medium, fire off the special one, which of course with my health low like that, I can't do. All right, that's because I'm running suicides and I'm not good at intercepting him. But hopefully you've seen what Medusa can do. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.